Hello and good day, everybody. This is Kyla, and this is the state of health where we break down the latest medical research and news into bite-sized pieces that you can actually understand. Today, our focus is on an exciting trial that was aimed at trying to prevent cognitive decline, or basically your brain getting a little rusty as you age in older folks. Now, we all know that there are certain drugs for Alzheimer's disease, right? But the focus today is not on drugs, but on something we do every day, several times a day, eating. Yes, we are looking at how diet can potentially play a role in preventing cognitive decline. The study looked at the MIND diet, which is like the love child of the DASH and Mediterranean diets. It focuses on plant-based foods like green leafy vegetables, nuts, berries, fish, and olive oil, while limiting foods high in saturated fat and sugar. Think less red meat and butter and more salmon and spinach. This study was a bit like a foodie version of Survivor, where researchers randomly put people into two teams, the MIND diet team and the control diet team. Both teams were given a slight caloric restriction, and they had to stick to their assigned diets for three years while their brain health was being monitored. Now let's dive into the numbers. Around 1,929 people were screened for this study, but only 604 made the cut. By the end of the trial, 8.6% of the MIND diet group and 4.6% of the control diet group didn't continue till the end. So after three years of veggie munching and olive oil drizzling, what happened? Well, the MIND diet folks did show a bit of an improvement in their cognitive scores, but it wasn't much different from the control diet folks. The researchers also did some brain imaging to see if there were any changes in the brains of the participants. They didn't find any significant differences between the two groups. Also, side note, the number of adverse events like cardiovascular problems or musculoskeletal issues were pretty similar in both groups. So, what does all this mean? It's kind of like getting a B- on a test when you were expecting an A. The results were good, but not great. The MIND diet did seem to have some positive impact, but it wasn't significantly better than the control diet. It's important to remember, though, the control diet wasn't a junk food free-for-all. These folks were also on a slightly restricted caloric diet, so they were probably eating healthier, too. And who knows, maybe if the study went on for longer than three years, we might have seen more dramatic results. So, the takeaway? Eating healthy probably won't hurt your brain, but we can't guarantee it'll make you a genius either. All right, folks, before you rush off, do me a favor. If you enjoyed what you heard today and want more, jump over to your favorite podcatcher of choice and check out the State of Health podcast by MedSchool. We're chatting up all things health and the latest medical stuff. Hit subscribe, leave a review if you feel like it, and join our health-loving crew. Trust me, you won't regret it.